In 2011, I, one place that I photographed a great deal is in northern India in Ladakh, which is up between Pakistan and Tibet. So it's in the high Himalayas. Layers. And um, so I did an artist book of work when I came back in, from there in 2012. I had been doing a lot of, I've always done a lot of landscapes there. And I had all, also, when I was there, I visited one of these uh, meditation caves, with these beautiful, very, very early 12th, 13th century, 14th century Buddhist paintings. And I had just fell, fell into the details of this one figure, uh, the great bodhisattva of compassion. I always have trouble pronouncing this. Avalo Keteshvara. Forgive me, any Buddhists in the audience. Okay, what do we do? And so the way this is a, um, a fairly large artist book that's, that's built like a, an accordion fold. So it actually has two sides. And as you open it, you, you see two pictures at once. So these are the pairs. And then once you get halfway through the book, you flip it over, and the back becomes the new cover. Um, and I was, oops, wrong. I was very pleased with the correspondences between this, these rock faces and, and landscape forms and the, the photographs that I made of this painting. And the landscapes aren't adjacent to the cave, but they are in that region. And she, uh, this, it's not a she, it's a he actually, um, has a thousand arms to, to provide comfort to the world and all sunny beings. This is a fun one. This is, um, I like to point this down to a sense of scale. Um, that's a shrine. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that gives you a little more sense of the, the, the structure of the cave. So that's that. And now, okay. So then in 2012, that was 2011 I did those. 2012 I got a knee. Didn't go anywhere. 2013, last summer, I went back to Ladakh with some, a small group of students and um, wanted to do more landscape work. And I will, my plan is to do a larger book project where I incorporate other Buddhist iconography with the Himalayan landscape. So here are some of, um, those Himalayan landscapes that I've been working on. These are all four by five. And um, most of these prints are about, I can, I can get up to two, um, 30 by, 24 by 30 is what I can do at home. I've, I've been kidding around with some of my old friends. I, I got to study, I, my first photo teacher was Harry Callahan, and then in graduate school I worked with Aaron Siskin. And it's like Aaron's finally kicking in, uh, the abstraction.
Uh, this was a trip I did to Peru. Um, so my idea is to do sort of separate books in different parts of the world. So I'm the Himalayas, maybe the Andes, maybe the Southwest, maybe Turkey, I don't know. So these are some images from Peru. These are uh, salt evaporation ponds in this valley. It's a phenomenal place. And um, if you look, straight up there in the last little pond, you see a dark spot. Mm -hmm. That's a person. Mm -hmm. So again, scale on these things is really uh, kind of key. Oops. The Nazca Lines. Machu Picchu. Another thing I've been, um, in 2008, um, with the change of, not only did my book come out, but they stopped making printing out paper, which was my, the way I printed everything for over 30 years. And it was pretty devastating. Um, so, and moving to digital is, has not been easy for me. Tech, in fact, Nick, Nick is here at the back of the room. He's my digital whiz these days. And so I need help uh, doing these things, but it's, it's kind of fun. There's, end results are pretty, pretty nice. Another thing I've been working on is printing some of my images on silk. And there's a wonderful company called Jacquard Inkjet Fabrics up in Healdsburg where they have all sorts of fabrics, really sheer ones, canvas, um, cotton, silk, different weights of silk. So anyway, I've, you, these are about 40 by 50 inches. No, the pictures are 40 by 50. The, the silk is a little longer than that. Mm. So, uh, one of my... Balinese friends. 